I'd say it's a high calling. A high calling of discipling little ones that God's entrusted you with. I'm a protector, a leader, a teacher, a friend. It's the most amazing thing that can happen to you. Many sleepless nights. Lack of sleep. I have to be selfless and put my needs on the back burner for them. You can't be OCD about your house and be a mom. It's been a humbling experience. There were lots of tears and lots of pregnancy tests. Giving up your desires. It teaches you how to lay down your life for somebody else and give up your life for somebody else. And I'm a single mom, so it's really difficult because the times that I want to rip my hair out and just run away, I really can't because it's me. It impacts everything. You no longer think about yourself, but you think about your children. Snuggles. Coming home to my babies. Just simple rides going to town. They used to always put uh, put on plays and stuff. You know, laying in the bed and we talk and laugh. Making memories together, just having fun together, being together day in and day out. Those hugs and kisses, nothing beats that. We just goof around, that's fun. Scaring them when they were in the bathtub, no. <laughs> <laughs> I love being a mom. <laughs> Not always acting on how you feel. It's hard to be all smiles and life's perfect all the time, because it's not. When Kodo was three months old, he was diagnosed with face syndrome. We spent six days in the hospital where they had no idea what was, you know, they kept coming at us with things that were wrong with him. Letting go is hard. And trusting God with your kids, that's a challenge too. We have monthly and weekly doctor appointments. Letting go when they get married, that's really hard. <laughs> Medicine three times a day. Just a small time, like being with them and hang, <laughs> hanging out and them coming to me for questions. And I guess really just depending on me because they look up to me for everything right now. And I just want to be able to, to give them the right answers and lead them in the right direction and uh, you know once they get older on their own they're going to start making their own decisions and you know I just don't want them to grow up. I would always want them to have an amazing relationship with the Lord. Always know that I love them very very much and that my passion has been to anchor them to His heart. I love them so much and no matter what life throws at them, that I'll always be there for them. And I want them to follow with all their heart after God. They are my life. They are my number one always. And that I'm here for them no matter what. And no matter what's going on in their lives, they can always come to me. I'm very proud of them and that they made me a better person. She cooks really good. My mom is always there for me. She's funny. She's very genuine, very patient. We play boats together sometimes. She likes to take us out shopping. The fact that she hates to shop as much as I do. Never really in a bad mood. Well, and um, we were, um, and we were snow skiing, and it was our first year, and Ethan and I were trying to get the hang of it, and um, Mom, Mom's coming down this mountain. We were snow skiing, and she just just ran right over me. We killed that little bush and everything. But it was gone. Gee on. Birthdays and church. She loves to make food for everyone, loves to have tons of people over, and it's just very hospitable. Like Ethan? Yeah, like I, I was like four foot under the ground, man. Like we had to get a snow show. We got there was to get snow off of it, dude. She's always happy and joyful and funny and making jokes and stuff. And sledding. Little, little two foot Ethan gone. She likes to have fun. Sometimes we actually play inside. I appreciate all she's done for me. She's the best mom in the whole wide world. She is the greatest mom in the world. Like they don't come any better than her. Thanks for taking care of me and not slapping me every time I do something. I love you so much, Mom. You're the best person in the world, and thank you for putting up with me. I love her so much. Love you, love Mom. You, Mom.
I appreciate her and how much she means to me and that I do think she's the absolute best. I love you, Mom. You're the best, Mom. Sister, take it. You rock. I think that's almost about it.